So at work, we have a ducted heat pump system. And it can really frustrate us at times for two reasons. First of all, it has a really basic control panel, which is very, very difficult to program in scheduling. So we wanted the heat pump to run during the day while we're at work, heat up the office before we get there, and then switch off at the end of the day and be switched off on the weekends and public holidays. So it was very difficult to control. The second problem we have is that when you turn it on to the auto mode, for some reason or other, it doesn't seem to heat or cool the building. So it, you have to manually switch it between heating and cooling, especially in those bridging seasons like autumn and spring. So what we wanted to do is link it up to Home Assistant. So what we've done is we found this connector, cost us about $500 to get installed, but it's a Wi-Fi connector that gives the heat pump connection to the Wi-Fi system with an app. Of course, being me, I wanted to run this on Home Assistant. So I looked in the Hex directory and I found a connection to the Panasonic cloud system. Connected that up, I'm gonna show you shortly how that all works, and then we created a short automation, a really simple automation, that will check every morning to see what is the temperature and either switch it on on heating mode or cooling mode and then switch it off at the end of the day and also check what day of the week it is. Let me show you how it works. So I found this Panasonic Comfort Cloud custom integration which we can use to control this Panasonic Comfort Cloud Wi-Fi unit that we've had attached to our air conditioning ducted system at work. So I downloaded this and installed it. And as you can see, if we go here to our devices and services, um, there it is sitting over there. And as you see, it's got a couple of options. So it's got a sensor, which is great. That's the internal temperature of the air pulling back into the ducting system. We also have the outside temperature on the roof. So that gives us some temperatures. And then we have the full control. So if we go to our dashboard of our home assistant, You'll see here that it tells us what the set temperature is, tells us currently it's idle because it's already reached its set temperature. It is currently in heating mode, but I could also select cooling mode, uh, dehumidification, or fan only mode. Now this is the mode that wasn't working, the heat slash cool, the auto mode is not working. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a short automation that is gonna check every day to see what the temperature is and then it is going to go in there and set it to either heating and cooling, and it will do that at a certain time in the morning, only on weekdays. So let's go and have a look here. So if we go into our settings, automations and scenes and AC office. Okay, so if we have a look what's going on here, we've got two triggers. We've got a time trigger of 5.30 in the morning, and we've got another time trigger at six in the evening, okay. And we also have a condition here, which is checking to see that it is only happening on weekdays. All right, so that's our trigger and our condition. And then we have these three action options down the bottom here. So these options are basically either to set it to heating, a cooling, or to set it to a fan mode, just a recirculation mode overnight. So the first one is going to check to see that the 5.30 a.m. has come and it checks to see is the temperature on our temperature sensor below 19 degrees, okay? If it is below 19 degrees, what it's gonna do is it's going to set the air conditioner to heating mode, okay? It's going to set the set temperature to 21 degrees, and it is going to set the fan mode to high, so it quickly gets us up to temperature. Option two would be that 5.30 has come, and it's above 22, so our summer conditions, okay? In that case, it's gonna do the, it's gonna set the AC to cooling mode, and also with a ducting temperature, we set our, well, that's our set temperature on our AC, we'll set that to 20, and um, the third thing is the fan mode, we're gonna set that to high. The third option is triggered by 6 p.m., so this is where it wants to switch the AC off at the end of the day, and what it does there it sets it to fan only mode. All right, so if we go in and we have a look at our desktop here, we can now have a look what happened with our temperature overnight. So basically, you can see very clearly here that at around 6 
p.m. last night. Oh, there we go, 6 p.m. Um, we suddenly had the AC switched off. It dropped down overnight to about 18.9 degrees. And there we can see at 5.30 a.m. it switched the AC on in heating mode and it's now brought us up to our set temperature of 21. So I'm really impressed with this little integration and the automation that we've created. We now have a system that is going to give us heating and cooling when it is required. The only thing this won't do is if we need heating and cooling in the same day, but that is a very seldom um, thing that happens and we can easily just manually change the condition of the heating or cooling as it goes. Anyway, that's all for now. You have a great week. Bye then.